so we get integration of 0 to pi by 2 instead of theta by 2 we are writing t so we get sine t the whole raised to 4 so we get sine t the whole raised to 4 and here we have and here we have 2 raised to 4 upon 2 square so we can cancel 2's from here so we get 2 square which is equal to 4 so here we have only 4 into 4 then here we have d theta so instead of d theta we are going to write 2 dt so here we have 2 into dt so we get 4 into 2 will be 8 and 8 is constant and we can take it out of the integration sign so we get 8 integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin t the whole raised to 4 into dt our basic equation of beta is given by integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin theta the whole raised to m into cos theta the whole raised to n into d theta is nothing but half of beta m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 so if you compare these two equations here we do not have cos term so we can assume cos t the whole raised to 0 which will be equal to 1 so now if you compare these two equations we get m equal to 4 and we get n equal to 0 so this term is nothing but half beta m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 so this term will also be half of beta m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 so we get beta of 5 by 2 comma half and this 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are 8 so here we have 4 so for this beta we are going to use the relationship between beta and gamma which states that beta of m comma n is nothing but gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so we get 4 into gamma of 5 by 2 into gamma of half upon gamma of addition of these two terms so 5 by 2 plus 1 upon 2 is nothing but 6 upon 2 and 6 upon 2 is nothing but 3 so for the numerator we are going to use the formula that is gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 so we get 4 into gamma of 5 by 2 will be nothing but 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 and gamma of half is root pi and for denominator that is gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 factorial provided n is greater than 0 and n is an integer so this will be nothing but 3 minus 1 factorial which is 2 factorial so we get 4 into 3 by 2 upon 2 into root pi and here we have gamma of 3 by 2 again for gamma of 3 by 2 we are going to use this formula so 3 by 2 minus 1 is half gamma of half which is equivalent to half root pi so we get half root pi so 4 and this 2's will get cancelled and we get i equal to 3 upon 2 and root pi and root pi will become pi so this is our final answer and this is how we solve the problem on beta function type 3. More such problems we will see in our next video. So stay tuned for our future lectures.